Hi, good morning. Okay, when I tell you this sunrise alarm clock is the best thing, I am not even lying. It's not even a new purchase of mine, but the way I wake up, game changing. I've actually been waking up like so early and so like pleasant and in a good mood lately and okay the biggest reason is probably because I've actually been going to bed early so like if I go to bed early like I'm gonna wake up earlier right but how I wake up in the morning lately is the light starts to go off and then I think my dog slowly wakes up from it too so he'll like come over by me and he'll like start licking my hand or like put his face near me like he gets so cute and then the light gets brighter and then I usually even wake up before the sound goes off which I love because I feel like it's so so much more gentler and I tell you all the time, I love a slow morning. New Year, same love for Bloom, same start to the morning. Some things you just don't want to change. But that's the thing, I feel like there's so much pressure to go into the new year and literally change every single thing about yourself. But like, some things just don't need changing. Remember that. I'm sure there's already great things about you and great things that you do on a day to day. So like, you can improve, but like, you know. Sometimes we just need to chill out with the whole new year, new me. Don't get me wrong, I love, I love the feeling of new year, new me. Like, it's all cheesy and dramatic and then like I love that but take it kind of with a grain of salt if you'd like to know my best purchase of 2022 it is 1000% this baby right here so I love being up early not only because like okay seriously this little Peace, I cannot. I I love to get up early, not only because I just feel like I have so much more time in the day, which if you go to bed earlier, obviously you don't actually have more time, but it feels like that. And I love to be awake when everyone else is asleep. I think it's just cool. It's like I'm by myself. I can just like chill, do me, whatever. Go get me a toy. He actually knows the word toy too, which I love because I'll tell him to go get me a toy and he'll like legit bring me one. Okay, so we are doing some things to prepare for the new year today. First up, being the most exciting as you can tell by the title of this video i am doing 75 hard come january 1st i first started this challenge i don't know probably like a year ago is when i feel like it started becoming really popular i don't know who made it and really how long it's been around to be honest but it's never something i even considered doing because i just i just thought it was way too hard i'm like that's way too much like I will not be able to do it, like I just can't, whatever. But something got into me the past few weeks, I've been thinking about it and I decided to do it. Now, the thing is, what you need to know, my goal is not to lose weight. My goal is to simply challenge myself and see if I can do this. Like I wanna push myself, I know it's gonna be really hard, not only physically but mentally. I think it's gonna be harder mentally than physically, but I think I'm capable. I know I'm capable. And I, I really just kind of like want to prove to myself that I can do hard things. You can do hard things. You can probably do harder things than you think you can do. However, I am going to pull up the rules and I probably will make a little bit of modifications or clarify some things. So I want to tell you my exact plan in case you want to do it with me or do something similar. And now, okay, I know some people do 75 soft if they want a modified version, but I really want to do as much of the 75 hard as I can. According to Healthline, the five rules of 75 hard are one, follow any nutrition plan designed for your goals with zero alcohol and no cheat meals. Two, complete two 45 minute workouts every day one of which must be outside. Three, drink a gallon of water every day. Four, read 10 pages of an educational or self-improvement book every day. Five, take progress pictures every day. Again, my goal is not to lose weight. Been there, done that. If I feel like I need to shape up, I know what to do for myself and my body, right? This is a challenge I just want to do. The only reason that I'm saying I think I will have to make modifications is because I am going on a trip in January, but I don't want to be like, oh, I'll start it after my trip. Oh, I'll start it after this. Oh, I'll start it after this. Because the thing is, there's never a time in your life where you're literally doing nothing at all for like three months straight I mean there might be but I feel like for me there's not so I don't want to have an excuse to push this off and also I'm not saying like oh January 1st I need to walk into the new year and lose weight no just reiterating that I just recently started thinking that I actually might want to do this so I was like you know what I'll just start with the new year the thing is it says follow a nutrition plan and I don't want to put myself on a diet because I just don't think that would be good for me so I'm gonna kind of create my own guidelines it says no cheat days though and Again, I'm gonna be somewhere for two weeks. Not a tropical vacation, but like somewhere that I kind of wanted to explore restaurants and stuff. So I need to give myself at least two meals. You know, I'm gonna be there for two weekends. I need at least like two weekends where I can chill it out. But I'm just letting you know for those two weeks, things might look a little different. I'm gonna be vlogging that. So if you watch the vlog, don't be like Morgan, Morgan, Morgan. No, like I, I'm planning this because I, I know I'm trying to make things realistic and work for me but i'm excited i'm doing 75 hard isn't that crazy what do you think do you want to do it 
If you want to do 75 hard with me, leave a comment and we can hold each other accountable. And like, obviously I am hoping to see changes in my body, right? But like I said, the goal is not to lose weight. The goal is to challenge myself. I've never done something as intense as this before. Hi, it's me from later, but I wanted to add this in now. So I went and I pinned a bunch of meals, recipes, things like that. Oftentimes I will like a like healthy meal or whatever, and I'll just forget about it. It's just simply having the idea saved and having recipes to reference. So I did all meals and then I just put notes together off of my rules for 75 hard. So for the nutrition plan, I think it'll be pretty good about like just being disciplined and like knowing what's good for me. But basically I'm cutting out sweets because I am a big sweet tooth in terms of like ice cream, cookies, you know, traditional sweets. I'm gonna go for high protein. I'm gonna eat at home as much as possible unless I physically can't. So like I said, I'm gonna be gone for two weeks in January. There's gonna be times where I literally cannot cook at home. I will do my best. And then also no junk food. And, and junk food in my head is like chips, things like that, greasy things, you know, like I'm not gonna eat any of that. So I might log it as I go, but I will link the Pinterest board and I will have this on the screen, but I'll also type it in the description box just so you can see exactly what I'm following. Yay. I am very big on space decluttering, not having things I don't use, don't need, stuff like that. I just put a bunch of laundry away. Some stuff's like kind of hanging to dry. But I encourage you, now is the best time to go through your closet, okay? I'm actually very good at this. Honestly, this would be my dream job if I could just like go through everyone's closet and get rid of stuff for them. But so I do this all the time, so I don't necessarily need to do a New Year's round, although I have a couple pieces that we're gonna run to Plato's closet with. Do the Marie Kondo method, we all love her, right? Pull everything out of your closet, okay? Piece by piece, look at it. If it no longer sparks joy, if you haven't worn it in a year, chances are, get rid of it, right? Th this I'm actually keeping. I will wear this, I have worn it when it was warmer out, whatever, but it this is just the first thing I pulled. But also, if you were like not sure, try it on. Okay, spend time, try on every single piece of clothing in your closet. This is gonna take all day, I know. Pick a Saturday or Sunday that you're doing nothing, but try it on. You gotta like envision yourself wearing it if you can't get rid of it. If you wouldn't buy it again, if you saw it in the store, get rid of it. I swear I read a stat like not long ago that's like we only wear like 20% of our closet. I don't know the exact number off the top of my head, but it was a percentage that is just not, not really great. You know, pretty small. Donate, Plato's Closet, Poshmark. Made an iced coffee and I threw some bags in my trunk first. We'll go to Plato's Closet and then whatever they don't take, I'm gonna put with my other bags that's already for donation. I'm literally getting rid of like old cups and stuff like if I don't use it, I'm getting rid of it, you know? And even I'm literally getting rid of one of my old mugs because I don't use it because it literally like reminds me of a bad time in my life. So I'm like, no, like why do I have this around? I'm gonna get rid of it. And like you need to do that, right? Something as little as a mug, but if it has a bad memory tied to it, I'm like, I don't ever want to use it. I might as well get rid of it completely. And having that gone is a little bit of weight lifted off my shoulders, you know? I don't care if I'm being dramatic. Like sometimes you just need to do these things. Protect your peace. So we made it and I just ran in. This is the first time I am trying to sell like a designer thing there. I brought in this large Kate Spade purse and then also a pair of heels that I just don't wear anymore and I haven't been able to sell on Poshmark. So I figured I'd give it a try and see if they would give me anything reasonable for it. Cause you never really know with Plato's Closet, which I get it, they have to profit too. I have like a whole hour and a half to kill. Honestly, Honestly, I think it's worth it for me to just drive home and come back. We are gonna go for a walk before I have to go back and pick up my stuff. I'm trying to be more intentional, not only with what I consume, like mouth to stomach, but also like media and stuff. So I'm gonna try to pick a really good podcast. <laughs> Something else I strongly encourage you to do for the new year, as well as like going through your clothes and whatnot, I know you have at least one pile or one drawer or one area that you throw stuff that you don't want to deal with, like junk, papers, whatever. Go through it. I promise it's it's one of those things that you dread so hard, but if you actually sit down and do it, it'll take you like five minutes or less. And so right now, I am going to go through this stack of papers because I throw these on my dresser when I don't want to deal with them. And now I'm dealing with them. And you know what? I'm gonna time myself and I will tell you how long it actually takes me because obviously I'm not gonna show you this whole clip because that would be boring. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> Okay, so 
it did take me more than five minutes, but 650, come on, that's not bad. That pile has been accumulating on my dresser for months, and I've had to look at it for months, and I haven't enjoyed it for months. We are moving up in the world. I just replaced my clutter pile with a book. Who is she? I don't know her, but I like her. Plato's Closet took almost everything, which was great. They said they're selling my purse for $100, so they gave me 50 for it, and then I sold a few other things. So let's go donate. So I've been doing this thing recently, and I'm definitely gonna bring it with me into the new year, and I'm actually like so proud of myself for doing it, but I think it's a great tip. I used to be queen of like pushing things off till the next day. Procrastination, like if it's on my do list, like, oh, I can do that tomorrow. Like I was so bad about just like moving it to the next day, moving it to the next day, moving it. For example, I've been meaning to make a dentist appointment for over a year now. I had a dentist appointment last January, January of 2021, but the week I was supposed to go to it, I got COVID, so obviously I had to cancel. I never rescheduled it. Yeah, but so anyways, recently I've been doing this thing where if it's like, okay, I have a task on my to-do list and I look at it and it's something I don't wanna do and I think of all the reasons and like why it would work better later on, why I should push it off, whatever. I've been taking that, I've been catching myself, catching myself in the act of excuses, in the act of excusing things and switching it and being like, okay, but like, what if I did it now? What would happen? It's probably always possible for me to just do it now and just get it done. One, I'll feel so much better. Two, it's probably not as hard as I'm making out to be in my head. And three, what if I just do it? Like, what if I just do it? So like yesterday, I did all these things I've been meaning to do, like call my bank company, update this Excel sheet, like just stupid things. Well, very necessary things are not stupid at all, but things have been pushing off because I'm like, well, that's gonna take me a couple minutes, I'll just do it tomorrow. Or like, what if I wait another day? But no, I'm stopping that. I've actually been so good the past like, I don't know, a week or two, and I'm carrying that. I'm carrying it with me. Mm-hmm. You should do it. Catch yourself in the act, okay? In the act of excusing. And stop it! Also, another tip into goal setting. So if you watched my last video, it was all about like my vision board, goals for the new year, not even like resolutions, but just things I want to work on, right? And so I heard this thing the other day, which ironically enough, I heard it after I made my vision board, but essentially it is that your brain can only handle and like comprehend three goals at once, three main goals. And once you add more and more and more, like it's just gonna push other ones to the side. So like what you should do is pick three big goals to work on and once you accomplish one like okay cross it off add the next one on next one of priority like almost less is more on your plate is better and then I was watching a video this just has to do with goal setting and it's a great tip so I need to tell you I can't take credit for it it was by a girl named Sadie I'll link the video because it was really useful and she had a lot of great tips but basically she was saying like okay think about it this way you want to reach a goal right the amount of time that it takes you to work on getting to a goal obviously lasts way way longer than the amount of time that you actually achieve it does that make sense? But so she was saying, okay, you need to write out how you want the journey of working towards a goal to feel. How do you want to feel? Like with the steps that it's gonna take you to reach your goal, while you're doing those steps, like how do you want to feel? And why do you want that goal? Like what, why specifically do you want that goal? And like not why somebody else wants it for you or like why you should have it for other people. Like why do you want that goal? And how is it going to make you feel along the way? But then also once you hit it, like why do you want to hit it in the first place? For example, if you want to lose weight, which I always talk about this because it's just the easiest one to talk about. Okay, well, how are you gonna get there? Well, you're probably gonna have to exercise, right? How do you want the exercise to make you feel? And are you doing it for you or are you doing it because someone else thinks that you need to do it, right? How do you want it to make you feel? Like, okay, well, you probably want the exercises to get easier. You probably want your body to feel stronger. You want your endurance to build up. Like, you want to feel good. You want to release endorphins. He's not cooperating. <laughs> I don't know. That's the spiel right now that I just think you need to hear because it was great tips and I loved hearing it. And if you don't follow her or haven't seen the video, well, now I'm telling it to you. But credits to her, because I didn't come up with that. Something else I'm doing to prepare for 75 hard is going out tonight. I mean, I'm not going to drink for three months. I really don't drink that often anyway, but I am meeting a friend and we're going to have margs and apps and it's just well needed and well deserved. Okay, not that you can't have fun during 75 hard, but I'm not just going to casually go out for drinks like I would right now, which is why I'm like excited and I'm like, okay, a last fun little night. Like New Year's is literally around the corner. I mean, I'm drinking on New Year's Eve and stuff. I'm just excited. I love me a good margarita. Here is the outfit. I'll see you later. Hi, it's the next night. The night before New Year's Eve, so I just showered and did the whole like exfoliation, the purple shampoo, waiting to like self tan in a few minutes. Liquid IV, immunity boost. However, a tip I really wanted to share with you that I forgot about until today that I think is super important for the 75 heart. I saw this TikTok the other day actually, which 
had the coolest lesson on it. It was literally about grocery shopping. Like, I feel like I don't know how to grocery shop, like, well. So this girl is a dietitian, and she has this rule for grocery shopping, and she calls it the 332 rule. The numbers basically stand for three fruits, three veggies, and three sources of protein, and how she talks about it is basically so that you don't end up with a bunch of random ingredients, and you actually end up with kind of, like, meals for the week. I'm gonna link it. It's kind of long, so I don't want to, like, play the entire thing in my video, but you seriously should watch it because I want to be referencing this a ton when I'm planning out meals, and then I'm gonna vlog like the first day of the new year, January 1st, whatever, and I'm gonna go grocery shopping and I'm gonna use this, but I'm gonna plan out everything I wanna buy ahead of time because I never do that and that's useful, you know? So I need to share that with you because whether you're doing 75 hard, whether you just want tips, whether whatever, it's so useful for anyone. I was on Google Calendar today. I love Google Calendar for like a general layout of my month. I love to plan my month and it changes all the time, but I just love to use Google Calendar for all of my video uploads and significant events. So I, I don't know, I just love Google Calendar. You can color code it. I don't usually do my day-to-day -day tasks on Google Calendar that I'll just do like on a notepad on my phone or something, but I just love it for a general layout of a month. Like it just, I don't know, it's beautiful. If you've never tried using it, you really should. And it's so easy and I can have it on my computer, my phone, my iPad, like it's just so versatile. I love just having it open, looking at it, feeling confident about my month like going into it feeling a step ahead already when it's planned out and laid out in front of me you know so the last thing that I really wanted to do before the new year was I feel like I struggle so hard with imposter syndrome if you don't know what it is I'll just kind of like put up a definition on the screen so I don't botch it I honestly think for the rest of the night I'm gonna look up some YouTube videos and play them on my TV and like I don't know see what people do to like get over imposter syndrome because I seriously don't know I go through waves of it where it just gets so bad that I'm just second guessing everything and like one day I'll be super confident and the next day I'll just be like I'm doing everything wrong. So if I find any good videos I like I will link them but I just need to do like my own mindset work so just a little nighttime chat before New Year's Eve. Once my hair dries I'll probably self tan and go to bed. I really wasn't sure how I wanted to go into this video but my space is clean. I'm like feeling good. I just need to like sit and chill with myself and take it in. You know sometimes you just gotta relax and like reflect and just Take it in. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment anything you want to see from me this coming year. I'm very excited. I have a lot of ideas and I'm so happy about that because I'm just feeling like so inspired and so excited and just loving what I'm doing here and there's no better feeling. Please subscribe if you haven't and you're still watching. I love you so much. I am rooting for you. Cheers to 2023. I will see you on the other side. Mm -hmm.